And as always, we're going to be looking for accurate context, good risk management, and always exercising good patience. Everybody who's traded has gone through periods of time where their strategy hasn't worked. Where if not a hard stop, you should reevaluate the trades you're in uh, based on time. That's what we're here for, is to put ourselves in the best success. A trading routine does that, builds that habit, lets you know what to work on, what to reflect on, and what to improve on the next day. Hmm. Good morning. Welcome to Make Hogue Money, the opportunity for you to bring your trade ideas to make me money and daddy needs a new furnace so we're gonna try and make some money today hopefully everybody's ready and and looking forward to some decent opportunities today this is me i've been around the block a couple of times if you've done it in futures i've probably done it cftc disclaimer what we are doing today is for educational purposes only this is a live account i'm not calling any trades you guys are calling trades for me I don't think we're at risk of anything there, but we do want to remind ourselves that there is considerable risk in futures trading. These are leveraged markets. You run the risk of losing more than your initial investment. Only risk capital, which to me is money you can afford to lose, should be used. It's one of the three things we love about Top Step. You're not going to put up risk capital. We are upon success of the trading combine. Of course, past performance is never indicative of future results. Hypothetical and simulated performance results do have certain limitations in the fact that they are, uh, there's no rules, no accountabilities, and no consequences. You can, it makes it very easy to make some trading decisions that would be much harder with skin in the game. Uh, so we're going to go over the rules. Kindness and respect is expected above everything. There's always differences of opinion in markets. It's what makes them so good. We have a couple of people unable to talk today if they choose to. We're all going to be involved in the decisions. And of course, context on any trade you're thinking about taking is going to be helpful for that decision-making process. We're going to be using the chat rooms in YouTube and on Zoom to discuss those trades. Only those in the Zoom meeting, however, will be able to vote for the trades, we are going to be focusing on the MES for opportunities for now. We're not going to be trading just to trade. A very smart trader reminded me to put that in the rules because we don't want to just make it exciting just because we we got to take trades. We want to take legitimate trades, and we always do. You guys bring some really good trade ideas. And, uh, of course, we're not taking losing trades, which is, of course, a joke because we all know that losses are part of trading. We have to accept cut and move on and find feedback on make hope money is always appreciated here is the platform and you know we'll start with a little bit of context s and p's largely range bound we've got a potential bull flag we are up uh, getting relatively close to the upper extreme of that bull flag we're in range above value We've got overnight inventory that's pretty long. Um, and we'll go to the TPO chart here. Which we have a basically almost a shadow of what we did yesterday. Accumulation, 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 accumulation. Do we want to vote on the... possibility of taking an opening range trade i'm going to send the poll opening range trade yes opening range trade no uh we've got a couple of folks here that uh, that do have a tendency to chat i don't see uh my uh brother Rand oh there he is randolph i'm gonna get you in here anybody else want to chat let me know more the merrier uh, travis Gotcha. Um, as for the poll, we're looking at 71% like the idea of the opening range trade. We'll watch it. We'll 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 take a look. Uh, hey, what's up? Uh, good morning, guys. Good hey, morning. 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 How are you? I'm doing good. You? I'm doing all right. 
It's Thursday. Slap, you know. Oh my God! I'm afraid this this house is going to sink into the muck. <laughs> oh, and by the way, they don't use chalkboards anymore. Chalkboards. So I won't I won't be cleaning erasers. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> no, Rick, you don't you don't get it. It's it's a punishment. So you still clean the erasers even though they yeah. don't use the yeah. chalkboards. Yeah, you got to get all that dry erase marker <laughs> off of there. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Yeah, dry erase. I don't think you can shake the dust off those, though. No. <laughs> uh, Spencer is saying the opening range trade hasn't been a valid setup all week. Besweed, the opening range trade is when the when the regular trading hour mar- opens at eight thirty. You let the first ri- the first minute range establish itself, and when it breaks out either side, you go with it. We may, we may take it today. We're, I don't want to risk too much on it. But we are out of value. We are in range, but out of value. So opening range trade has been tough lately. It has not been uh, that easy to come by a decent opening range trade. You know why? Because everybody's looking at it. Let it cause some losses for a little while. And then all of a sudden you're going to see the opening range trade become much more valid until everybody sees it again and then they'll all jump in and then it'll then it won't work anymore sound check i actually just tried to reply to him and it says he's not in the room so i don't know he might have left maybe he's having trouble uh, maybe he's having trouble okay thank you uh how does everything sound on on YouTube, I've got the speaker next to my mic for the other folks that are speaking today, so hopefully that sounds good. Besides the twenty-five minute delay, yeah, yeah, right. that's so that's so un, that's so upsetting. Usually, it's about about ten seconds is usually the delay, but for some reason, it seems to be um, much longer these days. I don't know why. Are you running any any other platforms that you normally don't run? Um, no. Maybe slowing things down. No. No. Yeah. Let me get this here. I um, missed it, Hogue. Are, are we taking the uh, opening range trade? Yeah, now? we've got seventy one percent saying yes. Here's the results okay. again. Okay, thank you. And I did uh, allow you guys to vote now, so. <laughs> Be sweet. I keep hearing some gravelly voiced old guy, so I guess the sound is good. <laughs> <laughs> ah, thank you, Besweed. Nice to see you. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I think that we've got about a 10 second delay in YouTube now, so at, at least for now, that's the case. Yeah, hopefully that holds. Yeah. So, all right, we will. Bring up this, which is the one minute chart. Well, we're going to see what happens on the opening range here. Let me make sure it's on. And if we do go up, I think you were talking about, I think you mentioned this uh, on the prep, uh, looking towards that, that overnight high. Um, I'm looking at resistance between 72 and 78, the December, the December high. So okay. somewhere in there, there's a lot of resistance. So yes. looking for an opportunity to, to take a short there. And then on the, uh, on the downside, uh, 3650 around 37, 38, there was, um, early in the overnight, um, session, that was some significant support and resistance. Uh, I believe it was on Monday. That was also near the uh, the high of the day, um, somewhere in that area, somewhere between 35 and 40. So uh, I think that'll be uh, a key support level initially, and then down to near the 4125 area in that range. Where the view up is one of those two lows. That left chart. This is a one minute. Oh, this should be a one minute. It isn't. There it is. So these blue are the extremes of the uh, of the first minute. Yeah, that, that raised it up a little bit, but yeah, forty one 
61 area. And we've got... But I think, you know, four still going to, well, I think you're going to be range trading. Seven. Unless something really significant shows up. And then, all right. Yeah. So we've already broken out below the opening yeah, the range. Seller's coming in. We've already broken out below the low of the opening range, so we're short. We got our stop in one point above the high of the opening range. Here's the opening range. Uh, so 41, 62, 75 was the low. We looked below at first, so we took the short. Now, if we're looking for some sort of profit target on this, we've got the single TPOs down here. Um, uh, Travis, you were looking at a lower level. Was that 36.50, 36? Yeah, somewhere around 37, yeah. Down here. Right. Well, that would be a heck of a nice trade. Do, I, we do have the 50, which is kind of a, always a key area, and yesterday's open was 53.75 or something like that, so that could be a point of uh, contention initially on this. Alrighty. So Andrew says uh, YouTube is about 25, 20 to 25 seconds what behind. What are you risking there, Mortimer? We've got our stop in one point above the high of the opening range. Mm -hmm. Here is oh, there. There it is. Now I can see it. Yep. Okay. Yep. Right there. So we got the uh, view app here at 57. Well, it sure would be nice to have an opening range play our way once. Morning, Will. Morning, Don. Don, I can send the link to get into the Zoom meeting if you want to come in and vote. There you go. So where do you have that stop, John? Where was the top of the opening range? 67 is the high of the opening range. We've got it at 68. Okay. okay. You, got one, you only pulled one out, right? Yeah. You've always been cheap. Ah, <laughs> ah. Well, I mean, the, the idea is to see what happens, right? I mean, this is a... You know, a, 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 always a possibility is to take that opening range trade because if you think about it, I mean, we've got a, an opening range that is about four points. And if it remains the, the high of the day and we put in a 60-point range, that's a huge opportunity for little risk. Absolutely. That's the, the nice asymmetric opportunity for mm -hmm. to look for. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know, if it doesn't, I say, I say we get patient, look for that 4175, 4180 level which kind of comes in right about this trend line. It's got some congruence there. We do have a yeah, one. Yeah, um, dollar is down. Mm -hmm. Just looking at that. Yeah, it's been getting crushed today, hasn't it? That's a, yeah. Probably the metal will respond a little bit better, but... here if they don't start seeing what they're looking for pretty soon they may they may head our direction you 
There's no talking feds today, nothing else. Just yeah. traders and investors and whatever's going on in their little minds. Mm -hmm. So they created, what, 571,000 new jobs and then jobless claims are up. Yes, right. It's kind of counterproductive. Right. So, a little yeah. incongruency there. Yeah, here you go. So, Travis, your levels were 41, 75 to 80. 70, 72 to 78, yeah. 72 to 78, okay. 72 yep. to 41, 78. And your bottom? 37 to 25. Yeah, I agree, Bill. Travis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, he's answered somebody on the... Uh, Two different conversations. Yes, right. right. Sorry about that. That's I never know what Randolph is saying anyway. Right. Well, it's, I'm, I'm responding sometimes to the, the chats that show up. So. E amazing economic fiction. I'll shut up. You're right. No, don't shut up. I mean, you're, you're me. a speaker to speak, not be quiet, so it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, you tell him, Travis. <laughs> well, it's hard to keep him in line sometimes, you know? Yeah. I'm going to go out and slam some erasers together. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mortimer. Randolph. How, how many years apart are you guys? He's, uh, he's, Buddy. Eight, yeah, he's eight years older than I am. Okay, well. Yeah, it's age before beauty. Yeah, I've got to I got to take it easy on your mustache because mine's getting almost as white as yours is. I gotta send you a meme. Brandon showed it to me Tuesday night. The guy sneezed so hard his mustache slipped, and it's on his bottom lip now. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you were to see Randolph in a dark room, all you would see is his mustache. <laughs> I call it the Cheshire stash. Right. That's funny. The John Holmes look, right? <laughs> Remember when Tom was so blonde, we used to call him golf ball? Oh, yeah. If, GB. if you saw him from far away, he would look like a golf ball. I think people thought he was albino. Mm -hmm. He was such a cute kid. Pain in the ass, but he was a cute kid. Yeah, well, it didn't hold up, so. Huh. Fail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm waiting to get some more pictures of his breakfast. <laughs> he's so funny. He's quite the cook. Oh, uh, yeah, he's creative. We do got to get together for lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we had the, uh, the flooring guy here yesterday. It bounced off of you, up. Yeah, it did. Uh, Kale, the parameters for an opening range trade. So, uh, hang on one second. Here's the one minute chart, okay? So the first minute was right here. And there's a, there's a feature on this chart that points out the, the, the range for the first minute. So these blue numbers here are the range for the first minute. We have the high of it up here at 66.75 and we broke out below the low of the first minute. So we took the short on the breakout. Now, there's different ways to look at this. Some people look at a 30-second a 30, 30 opening range. Some people look at a longer time frame opening range, like five minutes. So, But I've always looked at the first minute because I think that if there's something that somebody wants to get done right on the open, that's plenty of time in electronic trading. So we've taken the, the breakout to the downside because the opening – range that first minute of trade re remains the absolute high of the session 
if price comes back up and takes that out by a few ticks, then that negates the validity of this trade. Nice, Ed. Ed had a nice scalp. Nice. All right, Cam. I was going to suggest, John, if it does take out the low, add another one. You like uh, adding another one below the uh, VWAP. There you go. All right, we'll do it. On a, on a rally, let it bounce a little. Oh, no, we just took it. <laughs> <laughs> on a rally. You said if it goes below, sell it. So I did. That well, is yeah. what he said. And then after you sold it, he said, but wait for a rally. Right. You got to be faster than that. <laughs> you know, I'd like to see it hit the stops and bounce a little bit, but yeah. You got to be faster than that, Randolph. So our average price right now is 41.58. That's above VWAP. You're looking good. What are you going to do with your stop? Leave it there? For now, that's the plan because I don't think we've moved far enough to, to be able to hide behind anything. I mean, we could look at this. Look at What's this. the target again? 41.38? Would you say 30? 37 yeah. is my level. 37? I don't know if we're going all the way down there, but... So what do we hide behind? I mean, I, I guess we could hide behind this this swing high here, basically. Uh, you know, you could reel it in on the way down. We could hide 62. The, well, see, that, that's that last that's pullback the range. Right. So I don't I don't like being I don't I don't like putting the stop below. The open price or the even the range. Yeah, really so point. I'm just gonna leave it where it is for now. Well, like like Rick was just saying, I would peel one off maybe down towards fifty or um, where is it? so overnight forty seven. You can always reload. Forty seven was an area of resistance overnight, so that could be another spot to at least peel one off, take some profits. Of course, we get a little rally here. You could uh, add another one, Rick was saying. <laughs> so, you did go down and touch uh, yesterday's open and bounce off of that. Uh -huh. Somebody's saying the dollar is trying to bounce. That's the bounce I was looking for. Well, let's do a fish and cut fish or cut bait. Oh, okay, so is this for the entire trade, both contracts, or just one? Yeah, I would say both. Let's see what kind okay. of let's keep we'll see what kind of metal we're made of. We're just testing the water, literally, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not seeing a mandate for either. 51 participating or just about even maybe maybe pull one in well we've yeah, got a we've got, is open. All right, well, we've got a bid here at 50 yeah. okay we'll just take it yeah I would yeah okay we took it that's decent profit on that first contract now we're going to put our stop above VWAP where's that at 56, 56. That's kind of where it bounced up to. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah, I did I, I'd, I'd rather reload there than get stopped yeah. out there. 
I'm talking about above it, like I think any 60. Let's, let's watch it a little bit here. It's, um... All right. All right. You guys are the boss, man. You guys are the boss. Daniel says stop above VWAP. Well, you're right there. Well, let's mm-hmm. go. Unless you just want to reel them both in and then. Yeah. But, but. Yeah, I put the stop at 57. That's view app though. That's view app though. Oh shit, we just Drive got it. Is. We just got it. Yeah. I wasn't quick enough to take it out. All right, so now we're footloose and fancy free. Are we looking for opportunities to sell pullbacks? See, yes. If you mean realities, yes. Yeah. What's half? What's halfway in the opening? Halfway, in, halfway in the opening range. Yeah. Sixty-three fifty is a level that was important, has been important as well. So, sixty-three fifty to sixty-five fifty. Sixty-four is seven. Price. Sixty-four seventy-five is basically half back. Okay. Yeah. So right in the half, opening great, range. Great. Great. Yeah. Uh, spots reloaded. Yeah. See, I took out the low by, what, two ticks? Looking at your profile? Is that what I'm seeing? Down here? Yeah. That's two ticks, well, value low is two ticks off the low. Right. So, so what are we doing here? We're looking for 6475 to reload. And our stop's going to be above. So we've got our orders in. Right at half back in the opening range, 64.75 for a short. And 68 is the stop. Do we agree with this? Here's the results from cut bait, half and half. Do we agree with this potential opportunity if price gets there? No, that's the old one again. All right, what happened? One of the old ones. What happened? There we go. So one thing that is that I use as a general rule is as long as the opening range is the high of the session, I look for shorts. Yeah. Mm. Oh, hey, Ben, did you want to talk? I see you raised your hand. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Fred had a thing you saw here earlier. S&P, S&P may have gotten too short term memory inventory. Too, gotten too short term inventory. <laughs> too long after the Fed chair's speech. Got too short yesterday. Overnight long inventory could be corrected. Fred liked the opening range trade, as did we. Thank you, Fred. Ben, how's it going? All right. Good morning. Good um, <clears throat> nice to talk to you. You mean you're not at some pizza place or some Mexican restaurant uh, right now? No, no. <laughs> I'm making eggs right here. All right. So um, just the context right now, um, we're in a, a double distribution higher in the overnight, pretty thick. Mm-hmm. You know, got that volume, pretty prominent volume point of control, which we seem to be rotating around now. Um, but we also have a <clears throat> an unfinished high in the overnight. Yes, we do. So that's um that's a bit of a, uh, you know, a, a check as far as going short. Short and secondly, uh, market internals are positive, not super strong, but they're positive. And um, we did not. 
uh, <clears throat> we got kicked out of that rejection and high period in the overnight, that big, big single print where it broke out. Um, so what didn't happen, you know, mm -hmm. we, we tried hard to get lower, got below VWAP and now like, like, I don't know, it's a VWAP. It's on the overnight, I think on mine at about 55 half ish. And, um, pop back into the overnight value area, volume value area. So anyway, it's a little <clears throat> late now, but I was rather than take a short, which, you know, Hey, may work. Um, we're in it now. Pick it up above that opening, you know, the early morning high, it's almost a given. They're going to take out that overnight high. So would you suggest if that's the case, and we're going to vote on this now, uh, would you suggest going long if we take out the high of the opening range? Well, I think it's, I don't know, about staying long. I think it's going to take out the stops above the, the overnight high and maybe fall back in hard. I'd short back into the overnight range from there if you want to look for a short. Okay, understood. So yeah. the peak out above the overnight high, fall back in short uh, play. Yeah, yep. Um, it'd be nice to be able to get on board going up there, but it's going to be Iffy. You know, another eight minutes till B period. Um I don't know. What's your target? What's your profit target, John? On this, well, uh, like, you know, what 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 Ben was saying. Buy it in around forty one fifty eight. What Ben was saying was, I think makes makes a lot of sense. I would look for, uh, you know, I'm okay with point of control down here at at fifty nine. Volume point of control here. Doesn't seem to. I mean, it failed to break out on the downside, but after it right, and that's what Ben was below. Ben was saying. We didn't get to we didn't get yeah, to important levels you below. You didn't close it off. Yeah. Right. So you may want to take a you know a, a little profit on this one, and then well, let's fish or cut bait. You sold it nice. Yeah, that was uh, that was a good spot. Fisher cut bait. Fisher cut bait. Fisher cut bait. We're down to the point of control here, which we were looking at. We're saying fish. The more it, the more it keeps going lower, the more people say fish. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're being All right, now we're low of value. I'm taking this. Yeah, that's a good trade. <laughs> oh, John. <laughs> So we had 68% say fish and, and, you know, and you could watch it go from cut bait to fish. The, the more it got, the lower it got, the more people said fish, fish, fish. <laughs> Serafide, 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 whatever, and on YouTube said fish, fish. But we yeah. got to lower value. We you know, you can always reload. Yeah, that, that was a good trade. That was a good, yes. Uh, as long what are you as, three for three? Uh, yeah, no right yet, but. yeah, I think so. Yeah, see, man, we should have fished. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna we're gonna open B low in A period. You may have another. You may have another chance. Yeah, we uh, yeah. there's always another opportunity. I'm not saying there isn't. Hey, Sigma, past step one. Night. Nice. Congrats. Yeah. Sigma, if you've if you passed it yesterday, you should already have information on getting into step two. If it was today, you'll get that this afternoon. <clears throat> An opportunity every minute. Mm hmm I'm buying one at fifty four half. Okay, I'm in. Low value there. I'm I'm thinking about joining you, Ben, but I, I can't because Yeah, my, my rule is short only with the opening range the high of the session. Oh, that's true too. And I don't always follow it. That's you know, I'm with you, Spencer. I'm a I'm a contrarian. <clears throat> I 
<clears throat> be patient with that JT. $3. Yes, be patient. Forget about that. Start from zero. Yeah. Start. Oh, I just got a notification there that earthquake over in Turkey, Syria, the death of 19. Oh, my God. That's, That's crazy. Cool. Holy my God. That's why you got to be patient with it and not, not try to force things to happen to get that extra hundred bucks, you know? Yeah. And definitely look at your risk reward. I've, I've certainly been guilty of that with the uh, account line for sure. Yeah. I, don't, I know I've been guilty. Hmm. Okay. I'm out of 58. <clears throat> I should. Thank you. I'm seeing some sort of error here on our YouTube channel. I just canceled. I just closed a, a couple of different platforms that I had running on this computer. I'm hoping that's going to help. Well, I'm glad I exited there. It's already getting a little, a little too, long too, wonky. too long for me. <clears throat> you you made you made profit on that, right? Yep. Yeah, like four half. points or something, right? Nice. Three and a half, four and a half, something to fifty four half to fifty eight, I think it was. Three and a half. Yeah. <clears throat> nice trade. I mean in <clears throat> that in that little area, I mean that was you know, that was a tough spot to take an entry, so that's that's great. A uh, great trade. Thank you. And now you're really glad that you took it out because you would have gotten stopped out here probably. Yeah. Um, hang on. Let me see. Uh, yeah, probably. <clears throat> All right. We've got... We open down here in B. I don't know. It's a trade I... It's like, it's like riding cowboy, but like as soon as it opens, hit market and go long. Just because of the... The... Um, the length and the range, you know, it's usually bound to take back prior TPO unless we're going to be, you know, trending or one-time framing, and I'm not getting that feel yet. So I don't see necessarily opening in the lower quarter or third of the bar, and it just keep on tanking. So it might be worth a shot, the risk being below. But we're too high on now, high up. So you you would be you'd be longing B period against the low of B, low of A. Uh, yeah, and there's like a little you know there's still some single prints left. There's there's and there's a value area high. There's just a place to right there to put a stop. Um, we open up here though, like under the under fifty eight ish, the VPOC, the overnight TPOC contract value are low at fifty eight seventy five. Um, that might be a place to short and risk the intraday high or the overnight VPOC for a stop. It's so what, fine. What level was that, Ben? Um, <clears throat> if B opens up here around 58, 59-ish. Oh, I see. Okay. And then is that towards where VWAP still is? I, I don't know where VWAP is right now. Well, VWAP's at 56 right now. Okay. Yeah. Well, I didn't get either one. Nope. Told you to fish, John. Jeez. Uh, I was going to say, you uh, throwing out a light in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys, it was 60 to 40. <laughs> well, you saw it against VWAP. See what happens. Yeah, we got, you know, we got. Uh... You know, I, I was started, I was starting to think like Ben, and there's, you know, Ben was absolutely right. There were things that could have happened this morning with the continuation of the downside that still have not. Right. 
Couldn't take the low, so we might get a real fast move up. I don't know. But I don't, I kind of missed the long. Sometimes the way it behaves, you know, just started to move real fast towards the A low, and then it quickly pulled back, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, then it got away from the low where it would be asymmetric for me, you know? It's just, it's like, well, gee, now I thought it was coming down fast, like helter skelter, you know? Yeah. He's right. People like those even numbers, like 4150, 4200. Yeah. So delta were negative, which is congruent with direction. No indication of longer time frame. This is more likely this pullback. Short time frame, long overnight inventory adjustment. As Fred said earlier in the stream here on zoom he said you know there's a lot of longs here overnight shake longs them. we're shaking them out i want to get long here doesn't mean they can't get back in though oh for sure but first they got to get out yeah right, i'm taking 5475 if i can get it And one of the premises of the bar of that is that's the open of the uh, overnight. CPO. And we had a huge doji in the last 15 minute bar indecision. I may have missed it. Well, come back to you. Maybe. Yeah. Call that barcode and bill. Yeah, right. Just move. Got it. All right, you're in. Yes. All right. Uh, everybody get out and push. Mm. <laughs> you put your stop just below the... Uh, Regular hour session. I don't, I don't want to tell anybody where it is. <laughs> Good on you. <laughs> yeah, maybe the value are high. They're going for possibly because I need to. I'm going to average in here. You got, you got company there. Darren's along at 52. Uh, I, didn't, I was trying to average in at 51 and a half. But missed it. Would have put me in the money now. See, if I had just been more patient, I would have actually got a lower spot. Yeah, but Ben, you know if you would have waited, it never would have gotten there. That's true, too. I hear the little Napoleon Dynamite. I need a button. It says, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> Positive internal dialogue. Positive internal dialogue. For sure. Are you calling me on a cell phone? Crank caller, crank caller. <laughs> Telemarketer. <laughs> Talk amongst yourselves a second. I got to get more coffee. Yeah. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Have Lacey bring it to you. I wish you would bring it to me. Yeah. 
Don't you hate when your coffee pot goes off and it get your coffee gets cold? Put one on your, de- put one on your desk. <laughs> well, I'm moving the office. Yeah, you put uh, one on, uh, on a Keurig on your desk. Yeah. I'm gonna do that when I when I move my office. I'm, look, Rick, I'm moving the uh, the office up to Sarah's old bedroom. Oh, nice. Uh huh. And I'm going to get myself... Sarah, does Sarah know that? <laughs> she does. She does. She, I don't think she knows that her bed is already gone. No, you don't take up much space. No. <laughs> well, Lacey's ch- <laughs> chiming in. <laughs> Down! <laughs> Down, Lacey. Jeez. Somebody walks by with a dog. She gets very jealous. She has walk envy. Says so the eight area again. Stop me. So now, if I get out there, though, it'll keep going. Are you still in? Yeah, it got up to almost fifty-eight. And I was, I was debating getting out there because that's been a area of contention, but I didn't. I'm, I'm personally, I'm, I'm proud of you. This is a, this is a long trade for you. All right. Oh, I could be in like an hour sometimes. No. Oh, okay. Days. All right. Yeah. I, I was always, I always had the impression you were, you know, really a pretty short time frame. Um, I don't know. I guess. Depends on how you define shit time frame. Yeah, you know, I guess, I'll, and it depends on the situation started. too, right? As far as hanging on there with like uh, fingernails, yeah. trying to wait for something to work. Well, I've I've been in trades for a long time before. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. Now I think it's going to go a lot higher, but at this point, I. Can't <laughs> <think it's gonna laughs> be Oh, oh, Lacey, oh, Lacey, you're, you're pathetic. Stop crying. Oh, call her that. Uh, uh, oh, 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 oh. I'm a sponsor, but you know what? I mean, All right. there's, um, I'm flattened. flattened. Nice trade. Nice trade. Man. Nice trade. Uh, didn't flatten right away. It cost me a couple ticks. And there it is. If I would have stayed. <laughs> Sorry, you still got profit. Yeah. Well, I'm still early, and I'm not. I'm not all. Uh, okay. Worn out. Lacey's getting some love now. She feels better now. Actually, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna short right here too. <clears throat> I was thinking the same yeah. thing. I can get it. Half back. Yeah, keep struggling with this. Spencer, price action too low. All right, I'm at, I'm in at forty eight or fifty eight half. Do we join him? But you put well, a lot. This is gonna be a quick one. Okay. Maybe we ask if we join him anyway. Are you in? I just got there, Ben. Um. Do we want to look for an opportunity wow. at half back? So that was, I just yeah, took was a, two points there. That was nice. a quickie. So we're, we're <clears throat> thinking about taking a, a short right where you did, Ben, at half back, but I think we've probably missed the opportunity now. Yeah, I, I wasn't necessarily thinking past just a retracement on a, one of my charts, like a, a small, very small time frame. There was more there, but I didn't see it. Okay, we have pretty much a mandate for this trade. 87% yes. I've already got the orders in, so we'll see if we get filled. We're risking just under four points, kind of past this low volume node here. I'll be right back. <clears throat> There's the results. Overwhelming. Yep. 
basically they're telling you to do something, Jen. Yeah, well, I know, right? Well, don't take a trade just to trade, right? Yeah, I know. I'm just kidding. That's it. <laughs> Make it interesting. That's it. We have context around this one, though, so. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Phyllis. I think it's going to reach out and grab you here. One tick. Right, Darren? One tick. Jeopardy song, John. <laughs> you can do that. Can I share something on the overnight or the daily? For uh, sure. The it's a technique I sometimes use. It's helpful. Got it. We got you. Just a you better start coming prepared for class. <laughs> yeah, really. I had it a minute ago. Just a second. Oh, I see the problem. There it is. Okay. Um, so we got you know, this is regular trading hours. This is today. And these, we got kind of a little wedge shape here. You uh -huh. know? And I just drew a trend line from these highs right down here. And then I don't know about um, every platform, but this one, Sierra chart, that little crosshairs will jump to the next place that the next bar is. Mm -hmm. right? So if I come down here, I can kind of dial in on exactly where that trend line is. It's about 74 halves. Okay. Uh -huh. And we talked about in the overnight, let's say we get back up here and, you know, we've got anomalies all over here that haven't been uh, revisited and some firecracker stuff, but here's 74 half right here. Now this purple line is uh, probably a VPOC from something way back. So there's, there's probably some congestion in here. So I would want to see a pop to, you know, either somehow get on board with it. If we think we're going with it, you know, and get out under here, or if we, can get up here and then fall back. Um, get short. With then it. go short, right? Yeah. Hey Ben, that other trend line chart you had on there. What if you did a line off the lows? Hold on, I lost my thing again. Just a minute. Let's see. Let's see. Off these lows here. Yeah. Just okay. the like, like. Like these two. Those lows. Don't keep oh, going. That's a good down. idea. Yeah. Keep going down off the low greens. Okay. I'll, from I'll there all the way down. Hang on. <clears throat> and you can drag that all the way down to like that one or, yeah, I'm just curious. Yeah. See where that, yeah, so that kind of intersects kind of where we are now is a low in the day. So that might, that could hold off of these. You're not on that other throw low. over here in this bar, but yeah. then we connect it here. So we're kind of, you know, that puts a little hitch in the get along, I think, to the downside, unless we get below it. And then it'd be, Game on, like Ben, don't don't let Rick intimidate you. He's he can be a little bit bossy. <laughs> okay. Like mom said, right? Yeah. She meant it as a compliment. I was just gonna say, didn't, didn't she say you're greedy? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> She's, um, I'm tough, but I'm like my dad. It's because I had to babysit three younger kids. All right, we just took yeah, the short. I, I think.
think it's, you know, I found it's pretty important to, to trade. I mean, I'd like to take big swings and, you know, hit it out of the park a lot, but I've really fallen into just, you know, the market does this so much, you know, mm -hmm. and okay, well, how do I profit from this? You know, well, I gotta, I gotta dance with the, the rhythm, you know, mm -hmm. all these little swings and the, whether you're using a range bar chart or um, tick chart, minute chart, all these little zigzags, you know, you can, you can trade those and do real well. At least for, at least for my, um, yeah, I don't know, Bolton, I'm happy with it. Dalton used to call those fast trades, trades yeah. you don't intend to be in for long. Right. Yeah, William is uh, agreeing. Yeah, it's so choppy. You got to take the money when it's there. Yeah, we're, we're working our way up there at that high. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Not liking this yeah, short, you. really. Are you? You're still in a short? Yeah, we just we just shorted it at fifty eight half. I mean, we've got less than four points of risk on it, so it's not like a it's not like a killer. I mean, we maybe won too many times to the well at this level. Yeah, I missed the last one. That was a good one. How many people are joined in this morning? You got uh, about 49 on Zoom and 62 on YouTube right now. Wow. Nice. Where's everybody from? I'm from Indiana. I'm in Michigan. Chicago. Chicago. A little town. We're a little team. Paris. Wow. Jam. We're going to reel it in, in John. <clears throat> no. Northern Idaho. Yeah. Wisconsin. Good trade, Oak. I yeah. I was in Wisconsin at one point. Caesar, uh, Bogota, Colombia. Bogota. Wow. I remember back in the day on the trading floor getting my package from Colombia. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Right. Washington, right. Sweden, Orlando, Ohio, Houston, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Phoenix, Belgium. Wow. Wisconsin. My my dog is from Belgium. Well, Belgian Malinois, but I sometimes think she's smarter than I am. LA, James. James has been a uh, member uh, of the L.A. music scene for many years. Oh, yeah? Nice. New York, Miami, you. Louisiana. Wow. Temporary in Tucson. I was temporarily in Tucson a couple of times. I had a lot of fun in Tucson. Well, I think we're out of time. Cirrus is from Poland. Wow. We, got, we are international here for Make Hogue Money. Yeah. That was a good, a good question, Ben. Uh, I've been through Winslow. My grandma used to uh, winter in Safford, Arizona. Medellin. How is Colombia? Is there a is there a a lot of tourism in in Colombia? Where'd you reel it in at? I missed it. 
um, right about point of control, right about here. I don't, I don't remember nice. exactly, but I mean, it's good morning. Yeah. Make Coke money. We made made you know eighty six. You guys 80, were rocking it. Eighty six hey, bucks. That, uh... Where's that heckler on YouTube talking about not making money? Ah, that guy yesterday? Yeah. He actually commented after we made some money. He said, hey, nice trade. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see the after uh, reflection. What what was the end result to make book money yesterday? Um, like 35 trying, bucks or something? Yeah, I think we made about about that. I think we had a loss and then a, a nice end of day win and ended up positive. So it was all right. Cartagena. Jan is coming down to Medellin. Whenever I hear the whenever I hear the city of Cartagena, I think of uh, romancing the stone. You remember that movie? Mm-hmm. Douglas. Yeah. When they find that plane in the jungle full of weed. <laughs> and he pulls out a Rolling Stone magazine and he says, Ah, oh, the Doobie Brothers broke up. <laughs> Aces are that's a good suggestion. Medellin is a good good for a top step summit. Oh man, that would be great. You gonna throw out a line out there? Nah, I we're, we're I gotta go, so it's uh it's nine twenty. It's it's the bewitching hour for me. Well, thank you. Yeah, thanks everybody. Thank, Have a good one. Thank you, Pretty everybody. Well. We got yeah. Rick, we got Ben, we got Travis. Thank you all for your thoughts, ideas, voting, and your letting us know where you're from. That was really cool. Um, yeah, that was fun. Yeah, that was really neat. So trade well, everyone. Um, Have a good day. See you tomorrow morning for the market uh, market prep. Uh, make sure you check out the uh, podcast at the end of the day today. Have a good day, everyone. Trade well. Recording stopped.